but in HPLC we are doing retention times and retention time as the time suggests it is the time taken for the detector to detect the solute. So uh, we will just talk about how we differentiate between these retention times. Let's get to the chemistry of HPLC. So the stationary liquid is a non-volatile liquid and non-volatile and also non-polar. I have not mentioned it but also non-polar. Typically C15 hydrocarbons. So like something very close to diesel oil will count as a good stationary phase because it is non-polar and it is C16. So uh, something very close to diesel oil will be a very good stationary phase for HPLC. Uh, so but what you need to know is that it's typically C15 hydrocarbons and uh, C15 uh, obviously they're non-volatile liquids because the carbon chain is very long so they will be liquid and they will be quite non-volatile so uh, this is the stationary phase used and the mobile phase again the complete opposite is a polar solvent so the stationary phase is non-polar non-volatile the mobile phase is polar typically methanol and water you know how polar methanol and water are because of the oxygen atom they have so these are the stationary and mobile phases for HPLC and the solute mixture is made to pass through finely divided beads of silica for better separation uh, you can so actually in this HPLC tube there is a very finely divided uh, there are finely divided beads of silica so the solute mixture as it passes through this it gets uh, separated very well uh, so the rules of partitioning apply to HPLC now let's talk about retention time so uh, let's say we have so keep this in mind that the stationary phase is very non-polar non-volatile and the mobile phase is very polar so uh, for example we have a very non-polar solute in the solute mixture uh, like a typical alkane so we know that it will be more it will dissolve more in the stationary phase compared to the mobile phase it will be pa partitioned between the stationary and mobile phases however it will be more soluble in the stationary phase than in the mobile phase and since it is mo uh, more soluble in the stationary phase we know that it will travel slowly and as it travels slowly it will have a very it will have a very large retention time because obviously it is taking time to get to the detector because it is more soluble in the stationary phase it is traveling slowly and therefore it is taking more time to get to the detector so the retention time is very high so let me just write RT for retention time you will have to write the full thing but I am writing RT so RT is very high in the case of a non-polar solute on the other hand if we have a polar solute we know that it will dissolve more in the mobile phase because like dissolves like so polar will dissolve in polar so if we have a very polar solute it will dissolve in the mobile phase more in the mobile phase compared to the stationary phase so since it is uh, since it is dissolving more in the mobile phase it will be faster and as it will be faster it will take less time to reach the detector and as it is taking less time to reach the detector the retention time will be very low so we know that the lower the retention time the more polar the substance the higher the retention time the, the more non-polar the substance so this uh, so we actually get a graph in which it's not a typical graph but it's like uh, we just know that the x-axis is the retention time and we get triangular peaks uh, like you can see in the in this display unit we get triangular peaks so retention time and this is for example the scale so we have solute A followed by solute B followed by solute C now what this tells us uh, so let me label them this is the retention time for A this is for B and this is for C now what this tells me is uh, it tells me that A is the most polar because it dissolved in the it dissolved more in the mobile phase so it take it took it took less time to reach the detector and c is the most long uh, non polar because the retention time is very high the highest in this case in the case of a b and c so it took the it took the most time to reach the detector 
So since it, it took the most time to reach the detector, it was more soluble in the stationary phase, this means, because it traveled very slowly.